Okay, so hi everyone, thank you very much for watching. Liam Hartry here with another episode of Presenting Champions. Today, joined by a very special guest, the champ is in the house. Today, kickboxing legend, Gago Drago. Also, it's got to be one of the coolest names in the, in the fight game as well, I've got to say. Absolute legend of the game. A lot of people will know him from K1 Max. It's Showtime, but he competed for a lot of different promotions for the biggest and best names in the game that you can fight for all around the world, um, absolute legend of the game. So today we're going to be talking about his life, obviously post-fighting, also during his fighting career, the mentality it takes to get to the high level in you know one of the toughest sports on earth, and a lot of other good stuff we're going to get into. But like I said, Champ, once again, thank you for coming on the show, and it's absolutely awesome to have you on here, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure, my friend. It's a pleasure, yes. Thank you, thank you for uh, for a uh, message, and uh, it, it's a pleasure, brother. Absolutely amazing. So, getting into it from the beginning, um, I think a lot of people would love to know about what you're doing now, you know, in, in 2022, sort of post fight till we start with the present day work backwards. Um, you were telling me just now about, you know, bodyguard work and you've been yes. in some very nice places. Yes. Um, so, for the people around the world, let's talk a little bit about what you do with, with that side of things. Uh, right now, I'm uh, busy, a lot of, uh, I have a lot of seminars worldwide um uh, like 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 uh portugal brazil france uh, switzerland germany uh, now now i'm busy for uh, with with italy switzerland again um moldova uh, many many places and uh, um and also mostly in the summer like uh, from may june july august also, also September. Sometimes I'm doing a bodyguard work uh, for for people who uh, uh, like for like uh, celebrities, you know, uh, singers um, who 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 where to work in um, like Ibiza, uh, like like in a, some 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 vacation place, you know. So um, I'm working with them. I'm working with the, for the people who uh, who hire me for a. Uh, um, bodyguarding their their house and everything you know um it's nice it's nice but it's nice yeah it sounds like very cool work you know yes. you get to go all, all over the world and uh meet some great people and everything so just before we go back to to the fighting we will talk about it in a minute but you say you know like there's some cool famous people um can you mention any of them or is it like a private thing you know uh mention mention men mention of them um Asher. Paris Hilton, Ludacris, uh, also also many uh, rich people from uh, Russia, from worldwide. You know, it's like businessmen. You know, um, uh, Ty 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 Tyrese Gibson. You know, um, uh, DJs. Um, yeah, shit. Uh, when you ask me something, I forget the names. You know. <laughs> D yeah. DJ David Guetta, you know, uh, this kind of DJs. Yeah, man, 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 many, many people, brother, many people. That's amazing. That is very, very cool. Uh, it sounds like an awesome job. So, uh, it, you no, know, just... no, 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 no. It, it sounds awesome job, but it isn't. <laughs> it's not, no? No, 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 no. no. It's great. Bro, uh, a, lot of, a lot of crazy people in this world, a lot of crazy people. So, uh, it's a. Uh, it's not it's not easy job you know yeah but it's okay you know you have to do something yeah that's it there's, there's probably yeah some stress with that and some yes. you know i can yes i can imagine you know but uh still they're, they're cool people to to look after you know I have to say yes that. so going back into your obviously your fighting days you know what you're known for we'll get into some of that you know get into some stories about that first question i i have you know when you look back on your career now, obviously, you know, a few years out from it, what are you most proud of in your career? Like, if there's a particular fight or a particular title, you know, is there, like, one thing or maybe more than one thing you look back on that for you the, is, like, the most special moment, you know? The, but particularly what I'm proud of, uh, the way of fighting, you know, uh, I was fighting with everybody and I was fighting from uh, from begin until the end, you know, all or nothing. Um it's 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 not it's not a good uh, way of fighting because you know uh, this is 
uh, kind of stupid because you can you can lose lose a lot of fights, you know. But you know, um, it gave me it gave me good uh, good name in the in the people world. You know, people start to love me because of the way of fighting. You know, um, it's okay, win or lose. You know, it's it's a, it's a fight sport. One 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 time you win, one time you lose. It's a fight. You have to fight, brother. You know. So uh, it yeah. This is this is I'm really proud of. Yes. The way I, I handled it. And so you should be. I mean, that is the thing. You know, you fought everybody. Um, yes. That was something absolute warrior in there, I've got yes. to say. And obviously your style was so exciting. You yes. know, pressure fighting, very aggressive, you know, yes. very unpredictable. So absolutely awesome. So um, in terms of looking back on, on some of the highlights, you know, because you had too many fights to talk about them yes. all. Um, you know, but... What is some that stand out as being like the toughest fights for you? And and obviously tough is not just just before you answer that. Tough is not just you know who hits the hardest and things. You know sometimes it can be technical. Sometimes yeah. it can be what was happening outside of the ring. So of course. It comes course. in different forms. You know. You know what I mean. Of course. So who who, uh, who comes to mind for that with you? You know, um, I have I have a lot of, a lot of fights. You know, uh, best fight strongest fight important fight you know uh, many fights um, uh, the, the, the the one the one uh, what, what, which i can remember you know against uh, masad against masad yes so uh, mm -hmm. i don't know if you, if you if you know masad or not uh, yeah, yeah. against him because you know um, uh, i when 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 was drawing happening? You know, drawing last eight uh, finals. Um, there there were two two guys. Uh, Masado was number one, and Andy Sa was number eight. They they were they, they, they were separate. So I I had, I had three choice, or against uh, Andy Saur, or against uh, Masado, or stand alone. But uh, you know. Um, um, I fought already with Andy Sauer, so it was it, it was for me like like the last chance to fight with Masado because it was it was a little bit his uh, end of his career. Uh, so so I thought you know what I I understand this guy is very good, very good, very strong. It's difficult to be to beat him, but you know uh, it's a one time love opportunity, so uh, I have to I have to do it. So I, w I went uh, stand next to him and then uh, this white, yes, uh, I remember very good. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, yes. But I love asking that question because, you know, you never know what answer you're going to get. So it's, it, it is very, very cool. Um, in terms of another thing here, looking back on, on your career as well, is different locations you were, you were fighting in as well because you were obviously a globe trotter. As they say, you know, back then, you know, you obviously you are now in, in a different way. Yes. But in terms of like the locations you fought in and the crowd and the welcome, obviously in the ring, you know, it's, it's just you and the other guy, so it's, it's not the yes. crowd. But in terms of the welcome you received from a country and things like that, which uh, places like with the fans on that did you enjoy, you know? Netherlands. You the Netherlands, yeah? Netherlands, 100%. Netherlands, 100%. You know, uh, Netherlands, also, also, also. Uh, I don't say it because it, it's my home, but uh, especially Netherlands, you know, uh, before, now, now not so much anymore, but before it was Netherlands was the number one country in the world uh, uh, of hipbox, you know, um, so it, it, it was a pleasure. And also, uh, I remember also, uh, I fought I fought one time in, um, in England, Manchester. There, bro, uh, I... Uh, I think it was like uh, five, five or six thousand people in the in the in the arena. Everybody was booing me. It was, was booing me, man, <laughs> because I had to fight with a uh, with the with the with the hero of the of the of Manchester, and everybody was booing me. Uh, when I, when I look back, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice to see that, you know, but at that moment it was not so nice. But hey, what can I do? It's the lifestyle, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, man. British fans, you know, they uh, they show their emotions a lot, you know. That's, that's what I say about that. Good, bad, anything, whatever. Yes. It's all out there, you know. So, very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, obviously, people will be interested to know about, like, 
at that time of your life, you know, in, in your career, your, your training regime and all of this type of thing. Um, something, obviously people in the fight game will know about this, like other fighters who are watching this, they'll know about this. But, you know, for the fans, they, they don't always see um, how it goes in the gym. I mean, these days, obviously, you get Instagram, you get Facebook, you see more. Yeah. Obviously, in, in your day, it wasn't as big as, as, as it yeah. is now. So yes. at your peak, your training regime, um, talk us through you know, some of what you were doing in terms of training, sparring, anything you'd like to say about it, really. You know, you, you know what, before, uh, before when I started my career, you know, uh, I was training uh, two times a day, uh, two hours per, per training. But after, after I start to understand, hey, listen to me, or you fight five rounds, three minutes, or you fight three rounds, three minutes. And if you are unlucky, you get extra round. You understand? So, so mm -hmm. basically, you are you are busy uh, 20 minutes or 15 minutes. So why you are training two hours for what? So uh, I, I started to change my uh, training training system. You know, uh, I, I was I was training like uh, three, three times a day, but short, you know, uh, the 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 long, longest training it was it was like forty minutes or forty five minutes. You know, uh, I was just uh, going to the gym, doing exactly what I had to do uh, during the fighting, and then uh, up uh, home rest, and then uh, back again to uh, to do the same thing. You know, to re to to repeat, 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 become better, become stronger, become uh, uh, yeah, yes. this kind of thing, my friend. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes yes. a lot of sense. You know, and it's it's cool to get into it because for some people it's like a mysterious thing. You know, um, the other thing of that side of it though, you have to be mentally tough as well to you know get to the level like the level you were fighting at. You know, some of the names on your record and everything is yeah. amazing. You have to have like mental strength for that. So when you were on the build up to like a like a big fight or whatever, you had a big fight coming up. What do you do, like in your mind? Do you visualize the fight and, and plan it, or do you just like not think about it? Every or? time, every time, every single time, when I visualize the fight in my head, it went exactly opposite way, brother. It went exactly opposite. So uh, <laughs> I stopped it to do it because you know um, it's a it's a it's a fight. You know you you, you never know um, what what's gonna happen. Uh, the 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 one thing you can do, you know, is. Uh, uh, be prepared 100%, uh, train good, put your hands up, you know, uh, and do your thing every time, you know, for, I, I, cannot, I cannot speak with you, uh, about, for everybody, but I can speak for, for myself. Every time I visualize something, I want to do something, you know, uh, never happened. Never happened. It happened exactly opposite. So I uh, I stopped I stopped in do, I stopped doing that you know uh, just uh, uh, train hard uh, step in the ring you know and then uh, uh, fight and let's see what uh, what's gonna happen you know yeah that's interesting that's really interesting because yes you know um, I think the mental side of it people overlook you know what happens with that and and I, I find it really interesting to sort of shine a light on that you know. So yeah. another thing here, obviously you were competing under different rule sets as well. Obviously, you know, with K1 and Oriental rules and yes. all different things. Did you have like um, a preferred style that that you prefer, or did it make no difference? And and you sort of doesn't like matter. It's a fight, but it's a, it's a fight. It's a fight. You know, uh, uh, you have, of course you have, you have rules, and then uh, if if something you can you can do it, you just do it. Something you, you, you can't do, just uh, put in your head that, uh, okay, it's illegal. And then, uh, you know, it's a fight, brother. It's a fight. So, uh, all, yeah. all, all is okay. All rules are okay. Yeah. Everything is cool with you, man. Everything is cool, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah spoken like a, like a true champion. The other thing that I, I feel that we haven't given enough mention to here is obviously titles and things like that. Because... You know, in your career, there were some good titles in there. I'm not sure how you feel about this because uh, I think on your Instagram it says like um, something like "fuck the belt," I'm the people's champion or something Fuck like the that. belt, and... brother! I'm people's champ. Fuck the belt! Come on, <laughs> I don't care about the belt, brother. I don't care about the belt. 
because uh, uh, they are they are many champions. You know, uh, I don't I don't see them uh, coming around. I don't see them, but they are champions. You know, who who who, who knows about them? You know, you have to you have to let something in people's heart so they they can remember you because uh, uh, after a while uh, the new generation is coming. Everybody gonna go. Everybody will forget you. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a life. Is the it is what it is, you know. So you have to you have to let in people's hearts something. So uh, so they they keep remember you, you know. Keep watching you back. Tell tell, tell to the uh, new generation. Hey, look 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 these guys. You know, uh, uh, look how they fought or look look how they did. You know, this was nice. They, they, so these kind of things, you know, fuck the yeah. belt, brother. Come on. <laughs> yeah, fuck I thought I, I knew I knew there'd be a good uh, there'd be a good answer there. But saying that though, I mean, you did you did win um, some good stuff. I mean, obviously, I've, I've actually got a few of them here. Obviously, the semi finals with, with um, K1 Max, there's well, the uh, Muay Thai European. Let me, let me see if I if I can uh, turn the camera around so uh, I show you. I show you the 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 bells, but I don't know if you can see it good. Yeah, there. I can see. I can see that. Yeah. Wow. Can we have a closer nice. look? Can we have a closer look at those? I think people would love to see it. One more. One more bells. One more. One more. I think people would love to see. Let me see. It. Okay, look. Uh, the first one is a uh, uh, Benelux title. Uh, Bel Bel uh, Bel Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Uh, second one is a European title. Third one is a European title. Fourth one is a world title. Uh, no, no, no. This one is the is a dash title, and this one is the world title. And the uh, um, and the uh, uh, shit, one more, one more. One and the uh, and the infusion world title is uh, in the in the in the floor in the upstairs, you know. Yeah, it's upstairs. So uh, these kind of things, but yeah, yeah infusion um, infusion world championship. When I when I won the tournament, uh, I didn't I didn't get no no belt. I just I just got the check. Uh, money and that's it they told me that uh, they will give me the belt after a couple of weeks but uh still i'm still waiting by this oh, so wow. the right. yeah well you, you won you won that's what matters you know yeah oh there's more no 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 i've 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 uh i have a lot but i've i've i have a lot and yeah. but uh, um it's it's a uh, it's in the rooms you know yeah upstairs you know oh don't worry don't worry but it's good for people to see like even a few of them you know very very cool like for the fans around the world was another one yeah amazing absolutely amazing it's great for people to see that you know and, and thank you so much it's an amazing say again sorry it's, 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 thank you so much thank you uh, you know yeah thank I mean, it's an amazing achievement and it's a lot to be very proud of you know um of and so. i know in that way you're almost a, sort of humble about your career, you know. I took this fight, I took that fight, but actually, yeah. you achieved a lot of, of great things. You know, you, you should be uh, you should be very very proud of that. So moving on to to a few other sort of topics related to this now. Somebody comes to you um, at the seminar or whatever it is, and they say to you, you know, they want to succeed as an athlete, you know, as a fighter. They want to reach a high level or yeah. anything like this, you know. Now I know um, I'm not sure with the seminars if you're focusing on the technical side or different things. But what advice would you give? I mean, because this interview is is going to go around the world I, now. I, I I will say something, brother. I am very 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 bad person to give somebody advice. You know, because uh, what works for me can't work for you. Uh, mm -hmm. What works for somebody else maybe cannot work for me. So it's uh, it's difficult to to uh, give somebody advice. Uh, just, just uh, uh, what I can say. Just, just you know, do, do, not. Ha if you, if you go after something, go one hundred and ten percent. You know, do everything. Uh, 
give everything. So the, this is this is only advice I can give. You know, uh, I'm I'm not so not so uh, good uh, uh, advice giver. So uh, this what this is only what I can say. Fair enough. Fair because, enough. Because yeah, exactly. What what's work for you can't work for me. You know, everybody's different. Yeah. Well, that's true. It's very true. Yes. What about uh, what about moving more into the present day now a little bit for for a few more things? Like, do you watch much kickboxing now? Like any style, you know? Uh, what do you think not, of the sport? Not so much, not so much, not so much. But to be honest, um, I I I I watch like um, you know so, sometimes sometimes you see on on internet about uh, they're making a promotion about like UFC fights, you know, like uh, kickboxing fights. Um, and and I see I see the highlights. You no, know, I I don't like anymore to watch the watch the fights. I just like uh, I just watch the highlights. You know, and every time uh, when I when I go to event, go, going to some 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 uh, fighting event, a May event or kibbutz event, I mostly I speak with the people, man. <laughs> I speak with people, you know, uh, in place of looking into the fights. You know, speaking with the people, you know, making connections. You know, speak with them. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, networking. Networking is always good. Always good, yeah. Um, I, that's, that's fair enough. You know, I was just curious on that. The other thing, obviously, um, you seem to be doing what you're doing with the bodyguard work and these other things. But there have been a few things lately, like with um, Sanchai and um, the Benacook Cook um, BKFC. They signed two kickboxing legends, didn't they? You know, they signed the Bukau and they signed Sanchai as well. Um, do you think that you would make any type of comeback in like a different style, you know, like MMA or bare knuckle boxing or anything like this? Oh, show me the money, brother. Show me the money. I don't, I, I don't care. Fight, it's a fight, you know. Just yeah. show me. That's it. Yeah. So if you had a good offer for another, another oh, for style, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, my bro. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> walk me up. Yeah. Walk me up between the night and love, but let's go. No problem. Uh, that would be cool. That would be very cool to, to see you uh, see you again. Now, talking also about your seminars, you know, and what you're doing now in, in the present day, you know, we touched a yeah. bit on, on the bodyguard work, but let's give a shout out to your seminars and, and talk to us about like what type of thing you're covering and, and, and what a seminar is like with what you're doing. Um, it would be great to hear a, a bit about that side of your work as well. The, the, the seminars, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's all about Dutch stuff. You know that style, uh, that style technique combinations. Uh, how 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 you answer back. Um, so that style training and uh, and to be honest, the people love it because you know uh, uh, the same gym invite invites me a couple of times. You know, uh, same gym. You understand? Not not different gyms, but same gym invites me a couple of times. It must it must say something about the. Uh, uh, they like or they don't like. If somebody don't like you, then they, they don't invite you next time. You understand? So uh, um, I got I got invited many times from from the same gym. So it's a good sign. And uh, yeah, what can I say? You know, it's it's all it's all that stuff. That stuff training. That stuff combinations. That uh, all is that stuff. All what I learned, or uh, all how I fight, uh, what I did. And all uh, I'm teaching around, and they uh, they love it to be honest. Yeah. yeah, that is because I know you're you know you're you're sort of a humble guy. You know when we're talking about your career, you know you're not like uh, you're quite low key about you know what of you course, do well, come and, on. and come everything. On. You must be human, man. Come on, what's all? Yeah, yeah, of course. I love well, that. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, no, no, Zab. The 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 thing the, the, they are they are something. Come on, man. Come on, everybody. No. Uh, about these uh, people, you know, and we, we all breathe, breathe the air, you know, so relax, relax. Yeah. But I, what I was going to say is I still think that like with the seminars and things, so even though you're, you're very relaxed about it, I mean that as a compliment, you're in a good way. Yes. Like I still think people will get a lot of a lot of good stuff, you know, from your seminars, from your training, you know, you, yes. you have a lot to, to pass on to yes. like to the next generation and, yes. you know, things like this. I love that. I absolutely love that as well, you know. So uh, very, very cool. So what, last couple of things now, you know, to, to move into the last few uh, the last few subjects. We did touch on earlier on the fact that these days, you know, you're not you're watching more the highlights of, of the sport. You're not really watching yes. much. 
Yes. What do you think, though, of the state of kickboxing today you know, versus you know, how it was? You know, uh, you know how, how, how I like to say, you know, um, there is always, there is always uh, um, good fighters, you know, uh, everything going, going, becoming better, you know. Uh, so, but, but um, uh, when I, when I, when I think, okay, uh, how, how was before uh, people were fighting, you know, um, now, now, nowadays everybody has a manager, nowadays, uh, uh, to be honest, they don't, they don't need to do too much. Uh, manager does everything for them. Of course, they must, they must train, they must fight, but everything does, does manager for them, you know. So uh, uh, in our time, it was different. It was different because you, uh, the, 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 the promoters were uh, uh, coming to the events, they're looking how you fight. And then if you like, if, 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 if they like you, they uh, pick you up, you know. So, uh, um, yeah. I don't know, brother. I don't know. Don't don't ask me this kind of question, man. Just just uh, come on, man. But then, yeah, it is what this, but this is what this, what this. Yeah. There is there there they are of course there are good fights of course, but um, when I think like uh, uh, now this is like is like uh, two or four from ten are good. Uh, in in uh, how, how how this was like a. Uh, from ten, two or four were well, a little bit a eh, okay. The rest was good, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah. What can I say? No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, I know it's it's like a different type of question, but it's still, you know, like the level you got to. I've got a lot of respect for that. A lot of people got yes. a lot of respect for Thank that. You. So, it's it's a it's a, um, a relevant thing just to get your your thoughts on the sport itself. So you you mentioned earlier about. Um, leaving something in people's hearts and you yes. know how people are remembered as a fighter how yes. do you think now that the fans and and other fighters and whoever it is people how do you think they remember you as a fighter how would you like to be remembered ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, how the, how they remember it, uh, how they remember it. remember me i cannot say i i, I don't know you know uh, this 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 question must the people answer you know but uh, um, how I want they remember the, you know uh, the fighter who who uh, gave all you know who uh, who who came to fight uh, who gave all all or nothing uh, fought gave a good show for the people you know um, and uh, entertain people so uh, yeah this is what I, this is what I want you know. Yeah, I yeah. think that's a good. Uh, that's a good. Billy, I mean, Billy, Billy Shoman come missing Taylor. <laughs> do, yeah. do, do you know where Vinny Shoman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but I you know. Taylor. Okay, that's yeah. a great compliment, man. That's a great. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I agree with that. I mean, you know, I think you'll be remembered as an um, absolute warrior. You know, going back to what you said earlier. Somebody who gave it all, gave 110%. I love this, uh, I love the description, you know, I, I think it's on your Wikipedia, I'm just looking for it now. But he says you were known for your un unpredictable kicking techniques, highly aggressive fighting style. Uh, oh, this, this shit, man, come on, this Wikipedia shit, come on. Ah, uh, no, but that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice um, uh, description. Uh, kind of nice, yes, couple of things are nice, yes, couple of things oh, are nice. just the way they remember you for being such an exciting fighter, you know? Yeah. You you have to take that. You have to take that. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, you know, that, that bit regardless of the rest of it, that bit is true, yes. you know. Um yes. always exciting. So in terms of uh the last pretty much the last thing I guess, um, with this is obviously we've talked about other fighters, but in terms of your own um fans, you know, whether it's people who watched you fight back in the day, whether it's people who support you now, um, and when you get messages from people saying oh you were great or, or this, that or the other what would you say to those people, you know, who enjoyed your fights? Because some people watching this, um, they'll be hearing more about you for the first time or maybe they know a bit and they find out a bit more. But for some I, of those people who know you, they followed you, what, what yeah. would you say to them? I just I just want to say uh, thank you so much, you know, uh, my appreciation uh, for, for, for all these years, you know, uh, for support. Um, 
Uh, yeah, what can I say? For just just for for great support, you know. Uh, I hope they enjoyed everything what I showed. Um, uh, just a big thank you, big thank you. Yeah. Well, it's good to give them a shout out because you of know course. the sports would be of nothing course. without um, yes. the people paying their you know their hard earned money to to watch people fight basically you know of so. Course. Good to give them a shout out. But the last thing for me to do, Champ, is to say to you once again, big thank you for coming on the show because, you know, right. we've got into some pleasure. really, really good stuff. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. It's been fun and um, it's been exciting and we've gone into like a mix of stuff. So, yeah, thank yes. you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching um, please subscribe to the simply inspired youtube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon